Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to you need to make sure sure that you have the system.io namespace imported. So you are using this. So in this video, we're gonna talk about file strings, which is a very interesting way to work with files, which is a high level way. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First of all, let's just create a file string object. By a stream, I'm gonna call a stream. We're gonna create a new file using the file string class. So we have several constructors. I'm gonna use the the most common one, which is the first parameter is the file name, the second parameter is the file mode, which is to create. So we have this 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 um, enumerators. Uh, the 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 third argument the file access, which is for writing. The fourth parameter is the file share, which is none. Okay, so this is um, the pretty much what we need to get started with the file strings. So we got our string object. Okay, uh, we need to create to have some text to write to this uh, file. I'm going to create a variable called text, in which I'm going to assign this is a string text okay so we got this okay but this string object is a high level representation of a uh, object so we need to work with high levels uh, actually low levels so when you were we are going to work with bytes uh, so we need to convert this uh, string object to a byte object to do that we you need to use a byte byte array okay well, let's say let's call it byte array and we need to convert the text to this uh, byte array uh, object to do that you can use the class encoding dot e utf h uh, and there is a function called get bytes which takes uh, a char array or a string and convert that to a uh, array of bytes. So we now have our array of bytes. We could write this um, um, array of bytes into our file string object. So we call string dot write, and the argument is a very interesting one. So we pass the array which you're going to write, and I'm going to write uh, from the first byte for the first element to the last. Element to get the last element, we're gonna use the length function to get the last element. So after we're gonna use the string dot close to close this object, and you could uh, read this file in other process. So there you go, guys. Uh, this is the program. Let's execute it, and I'm gonna open up the folder for the for this. Um, projects to show you guys what we did. Let me see. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna run with uh, function control function five. So yeah, we already uh, run this. So I'm gonna open up the file. And as you guys can see, we have the this is a string uh, content. So let's say that I wanna I, I only wanna write the first four characters, the first four bytes. So I use this. So this, this tells me that I, I pass this array, and I'm gonna write uh, starting from the zero, the first uh, byte to the fourth byte. So if I run this. As you can see, I will uh, run it and then open up the file. This file only has four bytes, which uh, which are four characters. Okay, so each character is a byte. Okay, so you guys can see. Uh, there we go. This is how you could um, create a file using file streams. There is a couple of things that we're going to discuss later. So stay tuned. So thank you for watching this video, guys. 
and see you guys next time.